All right, well, today is January 22nd, 2018, and right now at uh, 10 p.m., we have a temperature of 45 degrees here in the foothills of Los Angeles. The uh, relative humidity is 47%. The dew point is 26 degrees. And the barometer is 30.11 inches, which has dropped a little bit. And uh, today we had uh, clear skies. Uh, I did not see any chemtrails in the skies. I was looking around for that. Uh, the reason for that is since uh, yesterday's video, today we can see that the jet stream flow into California from, from this uh, area down here near the uh, tropics has uh, been broken up by this uh, area of high pressure which has been installed. This is a transmitter, a satellite transmitter, which has bored a hole right in this uh, a moisture field. Let's go ahead and refresh this right now and see if we can get this thing working. We'll come back to that. We can see the effect uh, that this uh, high pressure installation has had. The uh, moisture streaming in to California has uh, been effectively shut off. Okay, let's uh, pan up, see if we can try this again. So we've got high pressure installed right on top of that jet stream. This, this is uh, was jet stream flow indicated yesterday on the maps. Today we can see that the high speed <clears throat> flow is right here. We've got a low pressure system here. We've got a two lows right here, developing storm right out here. This will all be forced to the north by this uh, high, which is installed between these two uh, lows. And of course we've got perpetual high pressure installed off the uh, coast of California. If we look at the Doppler map right now, we see that there is uh, zero rain. In the southwest, what else is new? This big storm here. This is uh, what this storm here went through the uh, <clears throat> Southern California area on Friday and left uh, eight one hundredths of an inch of rain. And uh, this storm was allowed to redevelop, and we can see that <clears throat> there's quite a bit of snow and rain as that system redeveloped and moved out to the east. All right, so getting back to this big map, we can see that the uh, there was high pressure installed right on top of this jet stream flow yesterday, and we see the results of that. We had clear skies today. Uh, we can see the uh, right here the effect that, that high pressure uh, had. It uh, evaporated the uh, moisture field right here, this jet stream flow. Heated that and uh, evaporated all that moisture as it was moving in. We see a secondary area right here. Transmitter aiming right in this area, installing high pressure, and that will block and prevent this system here from dropping down into uh, California. And we can see that dark area uh, opening up right there in the uh, central California area, right there. And that will maintain dry conditions. We can see that uh, right there. Let's look next at the uh, Western U.S. water vapor loop, we see uh, this weather system here. I believe this is a gale. We can take a look at the surface analysis map here. This is a, indicated as a developing storm right here. We've got two lows. These are both moving to the north. They're being blocked by all of this high pressure off of the California and Oregon coast. We've got a low indicated right here. And we've had a cooler than usual temperatures the last few days, but today's been a little bit warmer. We've had cold nights down in the uh, mid-30s, and uh, <clears throat> getting back to the maps here, we can see that, that uh, developing storm right there, moving into the uh, Canadian area. Okay, so we see the moisture field here has been chopped up and evaporated. And that's why we had uh, clear skies today. Uh, no rain. It's either uh, no rain or we have chemtrails. We had a fairly nice uh, air quality today. Here's the uh, southwest infrared map. We see some pockets of moisture moving down, uh, but uh, no rain. Okay, and there's no rain on the in the forecast for the next several days. Okay, here's the swell report. We see uh, some uh, 10 and 11 foot 
swells right in this area, 12 foot right along the California, 13 feet right here, uh, central and southern California. Okay. All right. Next uh, is the, you've seen the Doppler map, which is uh, showing zero rain in the southwest. Now, the NOAA goes uh, east maps are no longer available. So uh, we're out of luck with that. Let's take a look at the uh, USA Today hit piece today. This is published uh, January 22nd. This is a, a garbage uh, hit piece that uh, showed up on the Drudge Report for a brief period today. The title of this is uh, Creating Clouds to Stop Global Warming Could Wreak Havoc. This is a total third-rate propaganda article written by a bunch of kids. Look at this. To counteract global warming, humans may someday consider spraying sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere to form clouds and artificially cool the earth. Geez, you know, these people here are about 25 or 30 years behind the times. Now, we've been watching these chemtrails being sprayed. Uh, you know, as they say on YouTube, you can go back to the year 1993 and see uh, the old Tournament of Roses reruns filmed in Pasadena, California, which are always pointing the cameras to the uh, to the west in the early morning. And uh, back in 1993, on some of those reruns, we can see those chemtrails up in the skies. That's uh, 20, uh, 25 years ago. And uh, these bozos at USA Today, which is the paper you always see on airplanes, you know, when you're going through airports, they always have CNN on every uh, monitor as you're going through the terminals. And, of course, the USA Today paper is scattered all over the place. And uh, this is the kind of garbage that uh, the uninformed uh, voter uh, American gets to look at. This is all just trash. The idea behind the process, known as geoengineering, is to keep global warming under control with the ideal solution still being a reduction in the emissions of greenhouse gases. Wow. Geez, that ties right in with the Weather War 101 theory. What do you know? What a coincidence. Smokestacks generating climate change. What do you know? Very interesting. So this is just a hit piece. You want to find it. Just go to USA Today, and uh, you can read the rest of this trash. I'm not going to bother reading it. It's just lies, and it's it's just it's uh, third rate. <clears throat> this is not even good propaganda. This is third rate propaganda. Okay, so next article is uh, right here, Scientific American. Another garbage shit piece. Um, if it's not showing up for some reason. Let's see if we can uh, refresh that. Anyway, this is not loading up. Go to scientificamerican.com, and the title of that article is called Cleaning Up Air Pollution May Strengthen Global Warming. This is another hit piece uh, designed for the uninformed uh, person who's not familiar with uh, chemtrails and, and uh, uh, all that sort of thing, and they try to convince people that, uh, that we need chemtrails. We need we need that uh, canopy of, of uh, ash and pollution to uh, prevent a global warming. That's just trash. That's garbage. Because the fact is, is the reason we have such cold nights at night is because, precisely because there is no cloud cover. The last, uh, in fact, Saturday night here in the uh, foothills, it got down to the uh, mid to low 30s. It was very clear and a little bit windy. We could see all the way to Catalina Island. Uh, okay, and, and we had very cold weather that night, and that's because there was no cloud cover to trap the heat. And so this article claims just the opposite. Cleaning up air pollution may strengthen global warming. So they're using the, they're using the premise that, that we need clouds to prevent global warming. That is, we need the, the air pollution chemtrail uh, clouds to... Uh, Stop that. Stop the global warming. It's just all trash. 
you got to wonder who's writing this. And this is why, this is another reason why uh, science and math is so important if you've got kids in school, because uh, otherwise uh, you're going to get lost and trampled in the shuffle, this information, disinformation uh, shuffle that we're being uh, fed by mainstream television. Kids are uh, getting uh, completely spun out. They don't know up from down because, uh, you know, you've got parents that are working. They, they uh, cannot, uh, they don't have the time to sort through all this stuff. Oh, these maps are loading up. Okay. All right. So uh, here we are. We're back to the, uh, just have to leave it here. None of these maps are working. Okay. Let's see if we can get something going here. That'll have to end it. So we'll just, uh, we'll leave it right uh, here. This is the end piece I was talking about. Uh, we have no rain on the forecast. Uh, we may see some chemtrails tomorrow based on what we're looking at right here. We have we have some some uh, of this frontal system moving down towards Southern California, but again, we see that transmitter right there boring a hole right into that area. Now down here, we had some low pressure trying to form. That's all been beat up. We can see a big area down here of high pressure installed, which is pushing this flow way down south and away. Uh, this was feeding into that low pressure up here, that storm. Looks like that's still happening. This is flowing right into that low. So it looks like maybe tomorrow we might see some chemtrails. Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. But we can see that new area of high pressure being installed right there. Okay, that'll have to do it for tonight. And uh, we'll just uh, carry on and do another one tomorrow. That's it.